My name is Brett McClellan and I'm with the Tuning School and today I'm going to be teaching you about Lambda and AFR and how they relate to one another. So Lambda and AFR or air to fuel ratio is a scale that measures the results of combustion. Both measure the amount of fuel and air present during a combustion cycle. A lambda reading of 1.00 indicates ideal combustion. Anything above a reading of 1.00 is a lean combustion mixture. Anything below a reading of 1.00 is a rich combustion mixture. The way this relates to AFR is if 1.00 is the reading on the engine on an engine running gasoline, the AFR ratio would be it would equate to 14.7 to 1. So if you had a lambda number of 0.85, you could take that number and multiply it by 14.7, and the results would be 12.4 AFR for gasoline. So when you're tuning for idle and part throttle, you're going to want to see an air fuel ratio of 14.7. So clearly, as you can see on the graph, that's a lambda reading of 1.00. Now when you move to doing wide open throttle tuning, a good number, a good AFR number, for a naturally aspirated car it would be 12.5. Cars don't usually like to go leaner than 12.5 at wide open throttle. Sometimes they'll like a little bit richer, but a nice rounded number is 12.5. And you can see that that equates to that lambda number of 0.85. Another good point of reference is if you're tuning a boosted car, those tend to like air fuel ratios around 11, 11.5, 11 sometimes richer, sometimes leaner, just depends on how much boost you're running in your current application. But an, again, a nice common number is 11.5. And as you can see on the graph again, the uh, lambda number for 11.5 is 0.78. And so now you kind of have a reference point for where all this, the ideal combustion ranges are for idle part throttle and wide open throttle.